Good old Nintendo is really advancing the cultural understanding of Pokemon. First, they taught us where Pokemon bank. They're teaching us where Pokemon sleep. And today, they finally unveiled where Pokemon call home. It's within this new app that's available on mobile and on Switch. There is a freebie version and there is a premium version. And we're going to dive in and see exactly how it works, how it looks, and discuss some of the differences and decide if this is a worthwhile app to download whatsoever uh, or to subscribe to for a premium version for three bucks a month what's going on everybody it's Zach from switch force hope you're having a great day pokemon home does not require nintendo switch online i think that's the biggest thing to point out and very important and very cool to nintendo that it does not require the online service so whether you are a let's go pikachu and Eevee player whether you are a pokemon sword and shield player whether you're a pokemon go player you can utilize this even without NSO. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan to download Pokemon Home and what you want to do most with it. Are you going to just be banking your Pokemon? Are you going to be trading your Pokemon? Oh gosh, scroll all the way down. That's a, that's a lot. It's longer than the Pokedex. Are you going to be uh, trying to get Pokemon from past games over to Sword and Shield? But remember that you can only bring in Pokemon that are part of the Galar region Pokedex. Now, that will be expanding to over 600 once the expansions drop, which I think are pretty cool. I'm personally very excited for the Pokemon Sword and Shield expansions that are releasing this summer and this fall. I think they're, they're very cool. They're bringing in new Pokemon, new places, new people. It's just a bold new idea for Pokemon as a whole, and that's what we wanted to see out of their appearance on Switch was bringing new features, bringing new ideas. And I love that both expansions are going to focus on wild area type locales where you get to explore with free camera. Anyhow, there is a new master of ceremonies for this app, and it looks like he's about to appear. Look at this dude. There we go. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the great Pokemon researcher, Grand Oak. I've got arrow glasses and a super sick hairstyle. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Now then, forgive me for being so abrupt, but my dream is to create a Pokedex that includes all the Pokemon in the world. Oh, danger, 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 Oak Robinson. I'm not sure we should talk about National Dexes at this time. Anyhow, a little too soon. Of course, if I'm being honest, it's very difficult for me to accomplish this alone, but just right now, I've gained an absolutely grand ally. Why you, of course. I have a favor to ask. I've developed this Pokemon home, and I want you to bring lots and lots of Pokemon here. But I'm sure there's still lots you don't know about Pokemon Home. No problem at all. Just ask Pokeboy if you run into any issues. I love Nintendo for this stuff. I love that they add all the window dressing to make this seem like a game or a have a story, have some lore behind it instead of just, it could just be a storage app. Now, you'll be able to bring Pokemon from Let's Go and Sword and Shield into this very easily. Pokemon Go will happen soon. It just isn't ready yet, but that soon will be a feature where you'll be able to bring your Pokemon from Pokemon Go here, and then you can take them to Sword and Shield if they fit the Pokedex requirements. Now, it is important to note that Pokemon that go to Sword and Shield can then not be returned to their original game. So if you take, say, a, I don't know, a, a Pikachu that you get in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and you transfer to Sword and Shield, it will not be able to return back to Let's Go. So it's sort of like once they're sent, they can't come back. You can also bring Pokemon from past gens via Pokemon Bank. We'll talk about that a little more later. Hello there, my name is Pokeboy. It's my job to help you figure out your way around Pokemon Home. If you want to know what you can do on any given screen, just press minus and I'll be with you in a... I like this dude. He reminds me of the Pokeball mascot in Sword and Shield. Now let's start with this screen. This is the main menu. You can access all the available features, pick what you want, move the cursor, press A, go back. Very nice and easy. All right. I've got one Pokemon because this game starts with one pokemon you get a pokemon they gift you a dude they gift you a level 5 pikachu how nice of that now you'll see the number here one out of 30 if you opt for the freebie version of pokemon home you get 30 slots for the premium version which is again three dollars a month five dollars for three months or sixteen dollars for 12 months which is obviously the best deal sixteen dollars for 12 months it's like not even a dollar fifty a month You'll up that number from 30 to 6,000. So they really want you to subscribe. In an era when everyone is going subscription model, you see Game Pass, Ubisoft's doing it. Everyone wants you to subscribe to their Netflix-style service. Even Pokemon and Nintendo want you to do just that. Because paying a dollar plus a month gets you access to 6,000 slots. Now, it also gets you access to more Pokemon to be placed in the Wonder Box. Um, it allows you to place more Pokemon in the GTS. It allows you to participate and host room trades 
Uh, it allows you to access the judge function and you can move Pokemon from Pokemon Bank if you're a premium subscriber. You cannot utilize Pokemon Bank, which is the service on 3DS and handheld that allows you to bring Pokemon from past gens to Pokemon Home. Uh, well, you could store them, obviously, just in the bank if you wanted, but it now can work with Pokemon Home, but you need to be a premium subscriber in order to take advantage. A quick extra note that I just learned, but it's super cool, so it needs to be mentioned. The opening of Pokemon Home actually increases the Pokedex for Sword and Shield. I didn't know this was happening, but there now are 35 more Pokemon that can be brought into Sword and Shield, and we're talking Pokemon like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Mew, Celebi, Reshiram... Rowlet, Dartrix, Decidueye, Litten, Toracat, Incineroar, Poplio, Meltan, Melmetal. There's a pretty solid list. We'll put that list on screen. But this is nice. So Pokemon Home is actually boosting, in a way, Sword and Shield, which is kind of a really cool side effect, don't you think? Now let's go see if we can deposit some Pokemon from other games. Now, my save files here have been moved around, so I don't know which save file I've got on this system, because once I got Switch Lite, I transferred things a little wonkily. Um, but let's connect here and deposit what we've got. Again, I've only got 30 sl 30 slots? Gosh, it's, it's so few slots. Okay, um, you know, a few guys might be nice. Let's, uh, let's put Ivysaur over here. Hello, my boy. Oh, this is my party. All right. Can't, okay, wow, all right. So party limitations are here. Um, let's see, anyone, anyone interesting that we want to look at? Um, let's take a Mr. Mime. I'm down for Mr. Mime to join Pikachu in my new box. Okay, it's a little... And I wish I could just press a button to move them versus using the, um, the analog stick. Okay, we'll take, um, we'll take Psyduck, classic Pokemon here. Um, let's see. Mew, bring Mew over. I'm gonna mess them all up and put them in really awkward spots. Um, Butterfree, classic Butterfree, sure. Alright, we don't have a ton of spots, so that feels fine for now. Um, save our changes and exit. And away we go. Now, there are four types of trades in Pokemon Home that you're able to uh, participate in. We'll get to those when we get to trades, but I think it's interesting that they're giving you so many different options. Um, Alright, let's go to Sword and Shield. Let's see what we can do here. Save day if this game is not the latest version. Please update. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that shows you how long it's been since I've played Pokemon Sword. Now, I'm no massive, hardcore, obsessive Pokemon player. So, this is more of a perspective from someone who likes the games, who plays the games, and wants to see if this service is helpful, beneficial, fun to use. If it's something I'd ever consider spending, even the low price of $16.99 for the year, $15.99 for the year, on. But let me go update Sword so we can get these guys in here, too. And we're back. It turns out that it was a save data issue from transferring my save data back and forth. The game was fully updated. It just needed to resave on this switch in order for it to activate. All right, we'll connect in and be good to go. Hello, some cutie pies from Sword and Shield. Now, I think this is going to be a heck of a lot more fun um, once Sword and Shield do expand their Pokedex. Once the expansions do come out. Because even if you don't participate and don't want to buy the new Galarian bonus packs um, that they are obviously charging for, you still will get access to the updated Pokedex. So that's a nice sort of fan service -y move. Now, it's interesting here. We've got some different markers on these Pokemon, which I'm a little um, confused about. So you can take, obviously, uh, 30 Pokemon, yada, yada. You can save. Um, I want to see if I... Oh, different moves are going to be locked out. It looks like with Mr. Mime. That's his issue. You got Barrier, Meditate, and Double Slap. Kind of look like they're uh, they're struggling over there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all of this necessarily means. Um, what do we got here? Like, oh, I can make giant boxes if I want, or I can just swap and drop, or I can. Oh, okay. Let's see. View markings. Here we go. This is what I want to see. Oh wait, wait. Oh, I can I can label them. Gotcha. Different colors. If I wanna if I wanna separate my Pokemon, make a freaking time capsule. I'm going to give them all the markers. Um, what else do we have? Check. Let's see. I wanted to just kind of see if it tell us a little bit about why some of these guys have the confusing icons that they have. All right, it's just going through everybody at this point. Okay, so, well, his are obviously move-related. Psyduck, I'm not quite sure what Psyduck's issue is here. Um, he's uh, he's looking a little bit, a little bit sad and confused. Uh, I can't move this Pokemon, Okay. He can, oh, he cannot, oh, I get it. He can't go to Sword and Shield. Gotcha. All right. But if we wanted to, 
Um, we could take Mew and put Mew in Sword and Shield. Boom! Okay, so once it's moved here, I cannot move it back. So, okay. Interesting. But it will not probably let me move Psyduck. Can't be moved into this game. Okay. Interesting. Now, will it let me move Mime? Or is it just going to change his... Oh, it will. Okay. Interesting. And we swapped him for Yamper. Little Yampy Stampy. All right. Um, let's let's put Thievil over here. Oh, let's try something interesting out as well. Um, here's what I want to do. I'm going to take Vulpix. Okay. And we're going to take Vulpix over here. And then I'm going to... Um, and, of course, it's locking out the Pokemon that are in my party currently. Um, you'll find that the number... Okay, so this is where it's telling you you got to be careful. If you save your changes now, you'll find that the number of games available to withdraw that Pokemon to will go down. Yes, I do. It's getting a little wonky and weird, but this is what we've got going on. I just want to see what happens and, and practice this out. So the box has been saved. Now I go and check it out. And we'll access Sword and Shield again. This is actually a pretty cool process. I mean, just to even mess around with. Okay, so Psyduck obviously can't be moved. Can Mew be moved? Mew can be moved back, but let's see. If I move Mew back... Let's try this. If I move Mime and Mew back, they can be moved back, but... Will I be able to put them back in Sword and Shield? And I want to try to put Choodle and Vulpix... I'm sorry, back into, into Let's Go, and then put Choodle and Vulpix into Let's Go. Let's see how this works. It, it should not work according to Grand Oak and uh, all the guides they've been they've been putting out about how this works. Yeah, look at this. None of these guys can move. Obviously, Thievil can't. Obviously, Choodle can't. Yamper obviously can't. But Vulpix can't because he's been in Sword and Shield. And Mew can't because he, even though was, even though he was directly from Let's Go, and then he got put into Sword and Shield, he now cannot return. Butterfree and Psyduck can be moved back because they were originally from this game, and they then have not since been siphoned into Sword and Shield and gotten afflicted with the uh, the Sword and Shield virus, which prevents these Pokemon from being moved. So if I try to move Vulpix here, it's a uh oh. Cannot happen. So that's very interesting. So if you are going to be moving your Pokemon from Let's Go to Sword and Shield or from anywhere to Sword and Shield, you got to be very careful because once you infect them, they will be permanently infected and cannot return. I'm going to save these changes. We're going to take a look at some of the other features of Pokemon Home. This is obviously the most important and the biggest thing you're going to be probably messing with is organizing your boxes, moving Pokemon around. Now, here is where you can move from a 3DS game. Cannot be accessed on the basic plan. You can purchase it on the premium plan. Um, you've got points here. Um, you can send battle points uh, to sword or to shield. Okay. Um, we've got some options. We've got a notebook. I'm guessing this is going to show all of our... Yeah, history of box and point usage. Okay. Pikachu. I moved who, what I did, where I took them. I mean, we can go specifically to see. So, if you want to learn, like... What the heck happened to your darn Mew? Why it won't work? You can see a history, which is nice. Look at these dang records and tell you what exactly is up. Um, all right, so if I go to Pokemon and I connect, are we able to activate trading um, via here? If I've got Choodle here, no. Um, I like that you can pick them up and drop them. Okay, so the question is, where are the trades. There are four types of trades in this game. There's the Wonder Box where you just pop a Pokemon in and at a random point uh, it will be traded. Um, and then, you know, you get who you get. Oh, this is cool. This is pretty neat. So there's there's Wonder Box. There's GTS um, where you can request a specific Pokemon. There's Room Trades where you go into a room with up to 20 people and then you get a Pokemon in the room. It's kind of just like a... Um, it reminds me of like math trades that you used to do on board game websites. You probably don't know what that is, but it's almost... It's kind of like a white elephant, in a way, you know? Except without Michael Scott. Um, and then there's friend trades, where you can directly trade with friends. You don't have any matching Pokemon. Okay, you can see them. So you can see Kanto Pokemon here. This is pretty sweet. So you have to have at least one Pokemon from the Pokedex in order to even open it, which is interesting. What are these research tasks? Um, Galar, research tasks. Okay, first partner Pokemon. Oh, this is tasks to put into Pokemon Home. So if you are able to transfer... You know, different Pokemon from Route 1, or from the Mist Shrouded Slumbering Wield, or your partner Pokemon in here. You complete tasks. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to give you some BP. Now, the Nintendo Shop is where you can learn the premium plan. Where do we trade, man? Oh, my friends. 
I just learned something disastrous. You can't trade Pokemon via the Switch app. You can trade Pokemon in the mobile app. And, and all of a sudden, this has gotten a lot less meaningful for me. I totally get if you're still excited about storing your Pokemon and transferring them between games. That's the ultimate purpose of Pokemon Home, and for that reason, I think it's pretty cool. I like the way that it works. I like that you're able to connect to the games. I like that it gives you a lot of warnings. I think it is is really um, informational and helpful in terms of, hey, you connect here. This Pokemon can go. This one can't go. Be careful. There's a lot of good warnings. It's, it's got nice records. It's got the cool Pokedex. I even appreciate the challenges, and it's nice to view all your Pokemon here and see them in their cute, colorful glory and reorganize them, put them around, transfer them between games, and kind of if you are a Pokemon master, this is a great way to really wield your entire arsenal of Pokemon. I like it for that. But the fact that the mobile version and the Switch version don't have the same feature set, the fact that you you can't deal with Pokemon Go yet, it feels like this is a little half-baked. And honestly, I, I feel gypped that I could potentially pay for this service and not be able to trade. Now, granted, with pain, I'm getting access to 6,000 Pokemon deposit slots, which is great. But look at this. The mobile version is not able to move Pokemon with Let's Go or Pokemon Sword and Shield, which makes sense because those are Switch games. It can move Pokemon with Pokemon Bank, which I guess then invalidates my previous comment because that's with 3DS, so why not working? Why not work universally? You cannot trade Pokemon in the Nintendo Switch version. You cannot receive mystery gifts in the Nintendo Switch version. You cannot check battle data in the Nintendo Switch version. And you cannot check news in the Nintendo Switch version. Those features are only in the mobile version of Pokemon Home. And I can't understand why the feature sets are not replicated. And I can't understand why the Switch version seems to be the lesser version when the Switch version should, in theory, be the better version. Now, the Switch version does allow you to move Pokemon from... Let's go in Sword and Shield. The Switch version does allow you to exchange Pokemon Home points for BP. But goodness gracious, why aren't the feature sets the same? And why can't I trade on my Switch? That would be so cool and so fun. And it's just completely missing and completely absent. And so for me, Pokemon Home then becomes a lot sadder because I was going to use it for trading. That's what I'd like to use it for. I don't have a massive collection. I'm not here to organize all 100 of my boxes. I don't need 6,000 slots. But it sure would have been cool to... Wonder box it up. It should have been cool to go and participate in one of those room trades. It should have been cool to trade with a friend in a way where all my Pokemon are in the same spot, and it could have been a cool way to store them uh, and and utilize that feature set. Unfortunately, it's just not here, and I don't really understand why. Yes, I can go grab the mobile app. That's fine. Maybe it's even easier because then it's on my phone and with me constantly. And for for many of you, perhaps you'll like the mobile app better, given the fact that it's in your pocket. You can store them, but you can't deal with your sword and shield or your your let's go pokemon that way so i'm not quite sure i guess you can transfer your let's go and sword and shield pokemon to pokemon home and then open it on your phone and then make the trades that should work because they're they're i guess go hand in hand so so that's you can obviously do it that's what they want you to do that's the intended plan and protocol, it just seems silly to me that I can't do it all from the Switch app, and I can't do it all from the mobile app. I need to use them in concert. Uh, okay. Well, you can pay if you'd like. Pokemon Home is available now. You can download it for free. I recommend at least downloading and checking it out. I think it is cool. I think it's fun to witness your collection in this way and access your save data, and assuming that they continue to use Pokemon Home for the Pokemon games they release on Switch in the future, that'll be cool. And like I said, once the expansions come out for... Sword and Shield being able to expand the Pokedex and take them from elsewhere to bring them to Sword and Shield without having to catch them. You'll have many more options and that'll be fun. But at the same time, I'm very disappointed to see that the, the feature sets don't match up and I cannot trade on my Switch because that's what I was most excited to show you guys. So let me know your take on Pokemon Home in the comments down below. Did you even know that the feature sets were split apart like that, that they expect you to use the, the apps in tandem? Or were you thinking you could grab the Switch one? and be so cool or do you not even really care about trading you just want to organize and move around and so this works great for you let me know your take in the comments down below is this something you want to subscribe to $1.99 for a month $15.99 for the year not too expensive pretty cool interface but the feature exclusions and exclusivity worries me until next time everybody thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you did i love you a lot be good to yourself and others out there switch force out